Hi there guys, Dan Holton here from guitarlessoncentral.com and I'm going to answer a few more questions today. So, I've got a bit of a, uh, actually two questions from the same person, a guy called Kevin Geraghty, I believe you pronounce it, and his first question, they're both kind of about keys and theory. So, the first question says, so, I am playing blues, fifth fret, A minor pentatonic, mixing a major pentatonic, what key am I playing in technically? Is it A minor, is it A major, or C major? <clears throat> um, and in brackets, I'm not really eagle eye, you are so glad I found you. So thanks for that. Um, so let's answer that one first, and then we'll come back to the second question, which is a kind of an advanced version of that. So this kind of concept of mixing the minor and major pentatonic um, is something I use a lot. And I love the idea because basically it's, 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 you don't have to learn anything new, you've just got to reshuffle the information you already know, which is perfect for me. So for example, he's talking about playing in A, so he's saying the A minor here. And I would think, hopefully, the A major pentatonic, which would work out as being pentatonic shape two in this same position. So he's right. So you're basically playing the A minor, an A minor scale, and an A major, so a kind of major scale. Now, because that can cause many issues, you know, you're basically riding two different keys there. Um, you tend to see it in blues a lot, okay? And, and I do mean a lot. I think it's permanently playing through in the blues, okay? And that's actually because of these kind of dominant chords. Because these dominant chords that, that make up the blues music, the kind of one, four, five, um, they're, they're in themselves a mixture between the kind of major and minor, okay? And we don't want to get too crazy deep into theory. So for me, that's a really nice explanation because in that dominant chord, let's say A7, you've got a first and a fifth. Now you've pretty much got that in every chord. The first and the fifth are like a power chord, okay? They, they work both ways. There's no definition as to whether you're playing in major or minor. They're totally kind of in between, okay? It's only when you add the third that you get some kind of definition. And the third in that case, in the dominant chord, is a major third. So it's like a major scale. So when I play this kind of, these two, that's a root note, a third, then it sounds like a major, hence the use of your major pentatonic. Totally sits back nicely on that kind of root and third. Um, however, when you continue in the dominant chord, you've got a flat seven. Okay, and obviously once you start altering the major scale, you're into the world of minor scales, more often than not. So this is a flat seven, which is the seventh note in an A minor scale. Okay, so that brings in the elements of that. Okay, so as I play through my A minor pentatonic, that's my kind of in, that's, that's what is in the chord that allows me to kind of use some of those tones. Okay, now you've still got to use it in, in kind of a good balance and, and I would say a good start is learning licks and learning how the great blues players learn it. Start with players like B.B. King and Freddie King. These guys do it the best, I'm telling you that. Um, and therefore, to answer your question, you're playing the key of A blues, okay? I think if I was looking at a backing track online, I wanted to have a little jam, I would say there would be three types of keys that would pop up. Apart from kind of modal ideas, you'd have A major, or a major key, a minor key, and a blues key. And if the blues key pops up, I think you've got license to play over it in the minor and the major. And you've got to try it for yourself just to see. Now, that was his first question, so hopefully that makes sense. The second one <laughs> starts again. So, if I play Samba Patti, which is a Santana song, in the key of G, the first note is A from A minor. Am I correct to say I am playing in the key of G major Dorian mode? Okay, so this is obviously advancing a little bit into modes, and I think he's, you've got the right idea, Kevin. I mean, you're slightly confusing yourself by saying G major Dorian mode, um, because that doesn't really exist. What you mean is A Dorian, okay? So let's just kind of go over that very briefly, because I don't want to get too in depth into kind of modal talk, but, so yes, basically a mode is one part of the major scale. So if you've got a major scale with seven notes, uh, if you start on your first note of that scale, that's your major 
mode. Okay, that's your basic, it's called an Ionian mode and it's the major scale that you all learn and love. Okay, now if you start on the second note of that scale, that's a Dorian. Okay, so like you said, here's a G major scale. Very nice, okay. If I started that from the second note and ended on that same note up an octave, that would be A. And I'd get this. And therefore, yes, you can hear that sounds like a minor thing now. Something's going on, it's changed, okay? So now my usual scale. As I'm playing through my usual G major scale shapes, but with an A ringing out in the low, it sounds like an A Dorian, okay? And it's as simple as that, okay? That's exactly what's happening now. What you need to actually think, really, uh, if you're kind of at that kind of level and you're trying to learn Samba Patti and, and how to jam over it, is really, realistically, it's in the key of G major. And it starts on A minor, okay? So when you're playing all of those notes and you're looking at the tab and you're trying to work out what positions you're playing in, you're using notes from the G major scale, except, of course, the root of the key is A. So the only thing I would change in my head is that kind of fact. So I'm playing in G, so I've got my kind of scale shapes here in G. Hopefully you guys know some scale shapes in G, but I'm landing things on A quite a lot. You know, I'm kind of, that's how I'm considering my root note to be. And of course, as you move through the progression, uh, as the chords change, you're gonna be playing in multiple different modes. So that's why I'd suggest not thinking about it too hard at that point. So yeah, to answer your question, you are playing in A Dorian, but really you need to be kind of just thinking from an improvisation point of view and to work out what's happening, that you're in the key of G major and that's that. Okay, so use all your G major shapes. Now I will talk at some point in more detail about modes. There's plenty of material online uh, and I think from practical points of view, which is what we're trying to get here, that's the key element. Okay, so you're still in the fundamental G major key, you're just starting from an A and that's your root note.